Question 11. The diagram shows a cube and a cuboid. So there's a cube. Uh, every length, remember, is the same. So x and x and x. Here's a cuboid. 2 high, 5 width and x going backwards, depth. All the measurements are in centimetres. The volume of the cube is 100 centimetres, uh, sorry, 100 centimetres cubed more than the volume of the cuboid. Show that x cubed minus 10x equals 100. Okay. You might be reading that thinking, yeah, how am I meant to show that? Well, obviously you've got to use these things. So write down what you know. The volume of the cuboid is x times x times x, which is x cubed. Well, there's, look, there's an x cubed in there. So x cubed, what's it equal to? It is equal to the volume of this plus 100, because the volume of a cube is 100 centimetres more. So that's bigger. So it's that plus 100 will give you that. And that is 2 times 5 times x. 2 times 5 times x plus the 100. So tidy that up, you've got x cubed is equal to 2 times 5 is 10, so 10x plus 100. Now this says, show that x cubed minus 10x equals 100. Well look, you've got x cubed equals 10x plus 100. So if you minus 10x from there, it's going to leave 100. But it also means you're going to minus 10x from there, which gives you x cubed minus 10x is equal to 100 which is what it said there. So we've got it. Part B. Use a trial and improvement method to find the value of x. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. You must show all your working. Right. So we've got this uh, x cubed minus 10x equals 100. And we need to find out what x is. So we're not going to solve it Normally, we're going to use trial and improvement. Okay? So, I'm going to try x's. Write down what you get when you do that. And then, I'm going to write a comment. I'm going to just cross out the equals 100 part. Okay? Because so you're going to make a table. Okay? So, we want to get 100, remember. So, let's try... 10. So if x is 10, we want 10 cubed, 10 cubed minus 10 times 10, because it's 10x, and we're saying that x is 10. Okay, so 10 cubed minus 10 times 10 is 900. Too high. We want it to get 100. So I'll try 7. So that would be 7 cubed minus 10 times 7. X is 7 this time. I get 273. Too high still. So now I'll try 6. 6 cubed minus 10 times 6. 156. Hi. Now I'll try 5. 5 cubed minus 10 times 5 is 75, which is too low. So we know now that our answer is somewhere in between 5 and 6, but we need an answer correct to one decimal place. That doesn't mean we've got to get within one decimal place of 100. It means this number over here has to be correct to one decimal place. You'll see what I mean soon. So we know it's in between 5 and 6. I'm going to go halfway. I'm going to say 5.5. We'll try that. So 5.5 cubed minus brackets 10 times 5.5. which is 111.375 high again. It's only a bit too high there. I'll try 5.4. 5.4 cubed minus 10 times 5.4. 103. 464. Four. Again, 
too high. We're really close to 100 this time, so I'm going to try 5.3. If you were really far last time, you could have went down a few, but we were fairly close, so I tried 5.4. Now I'm try, trying 5.3, and I'm pretty sure this one's going to be too low. 5.3 cubed minus 10 times 5.3. Close the bracket. And always make sure you're using the right number, 5.3, 5.3. Sometimes you might accidentally forget and use the last one you did. Okay, so that gives us 95.877, which is too low. Okay, so because it says give your answer correct to one decimal place, your answer is what we're choosing x as. What our value of x is that's going to give us 100. I know none of those would give us 100, but because we're within a one decimal place, our answer will be either 5.3 or 5.4. And we're going to put one there. Okay? Now, if I just write one now, I will only get one mark. Well, so I'll lose one mark. Okay? You could probably look at it and think, well, it looks like 5.4 is going to be the answer because that one's closer to 100 than that one. And you're probably going to be right. Unfortunately, what they want you to do now is go halfway in between 5.3 and 5.4. So that would be 5.35. This is the only one we're going to do with more than one decimal place. So I'm going to do 5.35 cubed minus 10 times 5.35. And I get 99.63 and so on. That is too low so that means if the halfway point is too low, the actual answer must be above 5.35, which means it's closer to 5.4 than it is to 5.3. Because the halfway point is too low, the answer is above it, which makes it closer to 5.4 than 5.3. So 5.4 is our answer. If you need to watch that again, keep watching it again until you understand. Feel free to ask a question.